Okay, well, I found that. We did another playthrough of the game, but then the statue didn't tell me to jump down the well. Apparently, I've talked to the statue every day. So I'm going to go do that quickly. This is just a bad dream. Oh, my. I'm going to wake up in three, two, one. And now we're going to try talking to the statue every opportunity we got. I was running through the forest one day. Gonna end the dream my way. I'm gonna walk ahead to make this thing appear. I'm just gonna go through the door so I can fall with it. Now then. Just get this out. And now we talk to the statue every day. And so apparently to get the good ending, you need to talk to the statue at every opportunity and on every day. Um, do everything you can do with the fun of the statue. I did not talk to it every opportunity I had, so... I think it was important, but I guess it is. Okay. Cross is over. What a nightmare, we say, as we go through the game for a uh, third and a half time. That's okay. I like the game, though. I really do. Probably, I like all the endings that I've gotten so far well enough, so I'm hoping this is the good ending, so I'll see if this ending can live up to the other ones. Alright, I'm going to just start off my postal service stuff, just because, you know, because I can, I guess. Talk to this guy over here. I kind of exactly know what route I'm going to take for this thing, too. George, hey there, lad. I'm in charge of the post office. Just check the deposit box for any packages and deliver them to their respective addresses. Go there. It's pretty. A lion smells like wild berries. It's addressed to Rachel. That's going to run over this way. Hey there, Rachel. Oh my, thank you. These herbs are perfect for the special tea I'm making. And now we head for the cave. Which is always a little bit further than I think it is, so it's probably like right around this bend. Nope. I overshot for once in my life. There it is. Go through here. It's as if in my imagination is the monument whispering. I'll pick this up. I'll pick up some of the talismans when I, if I'm close to them and all of them. I'm pretty sure they're not important, but yeah. Never know, though. Never know. Which means we're going to head back. Continue our happy, good old trail days. Problem is, yeah, I'm just going to pick up that one, because that's the only one which is very easy to access. How's it going there, Keith? Happy New Year's. We are going as New Year's Eve, so fun, fun. Let me get the next delivery package. Deposit. These letters need to be packed with pin-shaped objects. They're addressed to Patrice, which means that we run over to Patrice and give it to them. Hey, Patrice, I heard you wanted something. There you go, you a happy man, you two, three, three polygonal son of a bitch. Let's go right over here and get the last package, which means we can go and see if we can get on the pathway to the good ending. It's just a package, maybe books. It could be anything, though, knowing this pasture. Ryan, on day two, remember to talk to the statue. I know, uh, don't worry, I didn't forget. Because I know he says something before you get the stone. That was part of my plan, actually. Because I know that it says something different if you observe it before uh, you get the pick up the stone. Don't worry. I kept that step in mind in my own head. Thankfully, honestly, it won't take too long to get back there. Once you know what you're doing in this game, if you just do everything automatically, you can do it really quickly, actually. And I go. I opened the door twice. I was just very eager to get inside the hotel. So let's not go for a light sleeper. Waiting as we decide to go to sleep. Gotta rest well. As not, I'm gonna see if I see the figure that walks by, which I saw when I got up previously. When he looks up here, I think you see a figure for a second. I guess I was just crazy, because I didn't see it this time. Why is my door open? 
It's a mystery as we go through these hotel hallways. Now, I'm not sure. I'm just going to check these things because I can. What kind of animal makes that sound? I see something flash on my screen for a second. Huh. What is this? Well, it made that blanket person appear. That's for certain. I'm also going to look inside the broken hotel room. I'm just doing these things in case they're for some reason important that I don't think they are. What a mess. What could have done this? I see a shadow thing run in front of us. Last time I was checking the doors, but I ran by. There you go. And now let's see. This person just has to be scared, and then they apparently could fucking go to the Olympics for how great the running speed is. Just fucking look at this. And they did that backwards. <laughs> the spider and the fly. So deliver the first before I deliver the first third package or get the third package, I need to make sure to talk to the statue again. I also know another place where I have to talk to the statue, which I there's a third spot before I talk to it the final time. Get my package. Feels soggy. The smells horrible. It's just a Laura. So I know I'm gonna tackle it this time too. Poppers. She's close enough to the entrance to this place. Laura, there it is. I'll go nicely with my fireplace. Now run into the forest and see if I can do the fun exit here that I'm looking for. There it is. I'll talk to the statue again. Wait, what? Wait. What? I'm confused. Hopefully I didn't mess up anything. Fuck, maybe I'll get places another time. I really, really hope not. I, d I definitely did not have the third package yet. I delivered one package, but... That wasn't the stone or anything. Well, I mean, I found a good speedrun technique. Hi, <laughs> hi. Last time a thing came out of the forest at this point, so I got caught by it. So yeah, if you run, the thing catches you at that point. Fuck it caught me. Um, some sort of weird glitch happened. So it wasn't it wasn't a fun experience glitch, I can say that much. I'm not gonna maybe I should run. I did not deliver all the packages. What happened, for those who didn't really pick up what happened, so the third the third delivery package that you get is the stone. And I thought you couldn't activate the thing without the stone. I did talk to him the first day, so hopefully this was good. I thought you could talk to him on the second day, though, but... I feel like, I feel like maybe I'm not doing this right, because I feel like... Oh, boy. Um, but I just delivered the first package, and then I decided to go check up on the statue before I picked up the second package. And when I did, for some reason, it just teleported me to this part. Even though I didn't have the stone yet. Now follow the gate. I'll check this. I can hear people chanting in there. 
Problem is I can't check it again. Oh boy, I hope this is good enough. I feel like I'm gonna have to play the game again. Let's find out. Alright, this, that's flashing. There's no way to walk around it, so. I'm really hoping just talking to it the one time was good enough. I feel like it wasn't though, and I feel like I have to replay this game one more time just to get this done. I mean, I found something, if I was trying to get through this game as quickly as possible, I found an interesting technique, which I don't think is intentional, but... What's going on? Is this thing alive somehow? Well, it didn't say jump in the well, but had a different message this time than it last time. I'm gonna try just one more thing that I don't think it's... Just so I don't feel like a waste... Maybe I also need to talk to the statue? Maybe it's also... You know what? If I have to play it one more time, I'm gonna try talking to the statue and the stone talisman both each time. He did say something different, though. That's the right side. Pretty sure the lady in red's gonna spot me, only because she has, like... She sees you from a distance, to be honest. She did not spot me this time, though, actually. I observe it this time? Right, it's not even here at this point. Okay. One more go! Oh, ho, ho, ho. This time, don't even pick up a package before I do it on the second day. Because I'm pretty sure I did observe the statue on the second day, but... You know, I didn't think that picking up the first package would del deliver me right to the second bit, so I'm just gonna run through this because we've already done it a few times. I do like it. I do like this game. This game is good ending. I could. The worst part is I could have gotten the good ending on my first run of the game because I got the jump in the well message, but I just didn't know what I had to do at that point. And I didn't really notice the well, so yeah, yeah. Now then. Open this up. We learned a few things. Learned a good. If I was going to fucking speedrun this game, I found out a good technique. But I don't know why this game specifically would be like, oh yeah, you know, I'll speedrun that shit. The new job. Talk to the statue. It's gonna be great. Since so the first day, I can go actually talk to it. Arrive at the place. Still though, I guess I'll share my opinion of the game until before. This is my opinion before I say the good ending. But since I'm fucking doing this again, I might as well just share my opinion on the game. I actually like it quite a bit. While this game, this good ending, is taking a little bit more work than the other endings for myself because of well, you've been watching me do this, so I'm pretty sure you know why. But um, still, there's a lot which I actually like about it. Now there are some things I think it could have done more, but in other ways it surprised me a good deal. So I think it goes from my like territory to my deeper appreciation territory, which is something which some games definitely can do. Um, I also have an interest in the open exploration type stuff. I mean, I've have I've been making some games based off open exploration. Red Haze would be one example of that. So I kind of like horror, and that, there's not too much horror out there which does that sort of style. So I can appreciate it doing it. So. I'm also going to pick up the talismans just because I can, really. I just want to make sure I don't fuck up. I don't want to play the game a fourth time just to get something. Alright, talk to the statue. Is it a figment of my imagination or is this monument whispering? It is not a figment of your imagination. Take that. I missed it. <laughs> Trying to book it past it quickly made me miss it here. Alright. I'm gonna get all the talismans just because I can, really. There's not a deeper reason, just maybe that for some reason contributes. I don't know. And I know where all of them are, so I might as well. They're not very hard to get. Get my second package just while I'm on the way here. Then you rush out. Right, I didn't even deliver the first package. Alright, well, I know I'm gonna do deliver it then. Here. Oh my, thank you. These handers are perfect for the tea. Fun, fun. Depends how bad he breaks it. Yeah. Next one's in there. I see to take the long way to get inside here. There's only one entrance to this area.
Just collecting these in case, but just in case, really. Go up through here. Hip the hop. Go away. They'll find me. They'll take me and my dog, and oh god, help us. Got all three of these today. Well, actually, I'm also going to talk to the dog. Hi, puppers. Wait. Don't, don't tell me he just said, is this for you? Please don't tell me he just said that. Dear God, please tell me that's not what he just said. It's the bone over here. I didn't pick up the bone this time. Please tell me I didn't just trigger the dog. Oh, yeah, the bone's there, maybe. I swear to God, he just said, this is for is this for you? Which is why he said when I picked up the bone before, though. I'm, now I'm kind of concerned I'm going to get to go on the dog pathway again. Just the trees. Oh boy, I'm just gonna hope that was a glitch. Ah, oh, there they are, they arrived around time. Thanks, lad. Because otherwise, I'm gonna, I mean, in which case, at least it's not the most further back I could get to, but still, that'd be not the most fun thing. That pile of rocks is pretty odd. Ryan, don't break the game again. I'm not trying, I'm really not trying. Anyways, we'll just go over here and pick up our packages. Hey, post office, give me what you got. One is heavy and compact books, maybe? It's, yeah, we know it's dressed to the pasture. Hey, pasture! Guess what? I got a package for you. Running to you takes up basically all of my stamina. Pasture, my thanks. These items gain valuable knowledge. If you say so. Now I run back and figure out that my job of the day is done. Uh, hi. Oh boy, it looks like that was the last package for the day. Once I'm done wandering, I should go back to the hotel. Don't worry, I'm going to mash the hotel button. And hope. <laughs> I was having fun with it. Now let's just hope I don't turn into a dog. That'd be the worst day. <clears throat> Night sleeper. With all the fun as it goes. And I was, in fact, crazy about the figure in the corner I saw, because now I don't see anything. That I'm looking directly at it. Hip hip. Open the damn door! Why is my door open? So we can walk down creepy hotel hallways, really. Turn the bend. Observe this. What kind of what? Just make sure observing the stuff isn't if it's important or not. That now that figure appears. Check inside these parts. What in the world? <laughs> Sign of fun with it. A figure goes by mysteriously, but interestingly. Now, of course, we're gonna get the scene that we have seen a few times because we're trying to get the fucking good ending. Hi, how's it going, sir? He's fine. It was just a very thorough massage. The spider and the fly. Now, this is the chapter I hope I don't fuck up in again. Let's see if we can do it correctly this time for the good ending stuff. Well, you see, if you truly believe you... Fuck, I did become the dog! <laughs> I did fuck up. I didn't want to become the dog. I already got the dog ending. Just don't talk to the dog. To be fair, I didn't pick up the bone. I just considered I still had the bone, I guess. I don't hear you back there. I was the goodest boy for a bit, but now I have to do my rounds again. So now I know. Don't talk to the dog. The dog's nothing but lies in the seat for me, so. Get out of the bed. Read my letter. That's good. Go back to bed. Back in the town I go. How many times have I attempted this even? I don't know. The new job. This is for you, Darkoon. I, I didn't finish saying my opinions on the game. Now I'm going to say my opinions on the game as I go this run. Wow, so this game seems very stable. Unless Ryan is playing it. 
I can report the few bugs I found to the developer. I mean, they're not like even big bugs. They're just like small things. They're just getting in the way of me getting the good ending. I could have gotten the good ending on my first playthrough if I had just known about it. The well, I guess, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Before I do my packed delivery, I'm just going to pick up the sigils. So, some opinions. I like the style of the game a lot, like the aesthetic style of it. I also like I like some of the variety and some of the weird touches. To keep you, There's some mechanics of this game I still don't fully understand. Like, I don't fully understand the Death World mechanic right now. I like it, but I'm not, at the same time, I feel like maybe it could be explored a bit more. Maybe partially because I don't actually know what it's for. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like some of the touches. I like the exploration element. I like the open form of some of the stuff. Um, most of the endings I think are pretty fun to get. Of course, I'm having difficulties with a good ending, so there's a little frustration there. But not too much. I'm actually enjoying going through the game, so I'm not like so bothered about going through it again just to get this stuff. So yeah, yeah. Um, frankly, I like some of the variety and some of the surprise and some of the stuff later. And I like the game's The game went further in with what it was going for than I thought it was going to go for. Um, so I enjoy I appreciate that. Some people might say that it makes it a little bit schlocky, but I don't know. I, I like it when it, games kind of go full in with that sort of stuff. If they're going to commit to the idea. Given that subtlety can go a long way. This game definitely lacks that subtlety. Yeah, yeah. And say you got I'm going to just nope out here ending. I mean, I've got three out of four of the endings so far. I'm just trying to get the good ending right now. I've got the secret ending, and the other secret ending, and the bad ending. So now I'm trying to get the good ending. It just so happens the good ending is going to be some difficulties. I'm going over here to talk to the statue while I'm in the neighborhood. I don't know if talking to the statue is important, but I'm hoping it is. The power of rocks is pretty odd. And don't talk to the dogs. The dog wants to turn me into it. Because apparently delivering the bone once, the dog's just like, you'll be me forever. I hate to tell a doggo this, but I'm not here to live a doggo dog life. The dog across the map. This is for you. Yeah, of course. Take my imagination. There's this monument whispering. I'm sure it's just your imagination. It's not like you need to talk to statue a few times. Do what we're trying to do right now. So, rush on back to these caverns, and I'll deliver the package. Finally, actually doing my mail job. There's the well. What a weird well. Look at this. Maybe it's just illusions, but I feel like somebody's watching me in there. I'm just gonna get all the fucking talismans just because maybe that'll fucking help me. I need a certain amount. Talk to this lady. Maybe so many things happened over there in that cabin. It's overwhelming. I'll talk about. I heard that Neil still holds on to his paid delusions. I don't think talking to people is important, so I'm not gonna do it. Though I'm worried, like, what if it is? I'm worried about all these what ifs. I don't actually know, just because I don't want to mess it up again. In the good old town of Little Vale, deliver this last old package. Go over here and get my deposit. These letters seem to be packed with pinch-shaped objects. They're addressed to Patrice. Patrice! Come over here! You heard me right there, Patrice! I got yourself your pin needles! Fucking do your voodoo shit, man! You can look in his eyes. You know he does voodoo. Now then, run back over and get the other package. Uh, Father, this postman is obsessed with talking to the statue before he even grabs a package. Let him be. He's just finding his way. Uh, let's go over here. Hey, sir. Thanks. There's some volumes for you. Happy you like them. Now I realize my job is done. Let's hope I don't heed him not. That'd be quite a way to word it. Oh boy, it looks like that was last of the packages. Now I can go to bed. Hello, hotel. Hello, Neil. I just can't shake out the feeling that it's going to go horribly wrong. I'm pretty sure it's, that it's Neil that dies in here, but we'll find out. All right, getting missiles ready. Now let's hope A, I don't turn into a dog. B, I don't get teleported away. There's a few things, you know, I'm kind of actually worried about something. You know what I'm worried about? When I, maybe I just have, it might be that I just have to close the game. Like maybe when I go to the main menu, it saves the values and they don't change. Like maybe it thinks I got, maybe that's why I triggered the rock so early. Maybe it thought I still had the rock in my inventory. Maybe it's, now I'm starting to get concerned that I'm going to have to play this one more time. Fuck. So here's what my concern is. I'm worried. In fact, now I'm starting to think about why did the dog ending trigger? Maybe the game still thought I had the bone in my inventory. And maybe the reason why that triggered that time was because it thought I still had the rock in my inventory. You, you sort of see what I'm saying? You see what I'm, what I'm playing at? See what my concern is here? Maybe if I just don't interact with the package thing, I'll be good, though. 
Maybe that'll be fine. Maybe then we'll end up in my inventory because we won't think I interacted with the mailbox yet. That's my only hope. But I think I feel like that's probably what happened is that I thought I had the stone in my inventory because I picked it up in the previous playthrough. I haven't closed the game since I started. Maybe like carried over between menu stuff. We'll find out though. I'm starting to think about that possibility now that the dock then triggered it. I only just thought of it right now, so I have my concerns. But we'll find out, I suppose. Don't get myself too concerned yet. Spire in the fly, just go straight at the moment. Don't do fucking anything, just go straight. Don't interact with that mailbox shit. Nobody wants to interact with the mailbox. Just go straight right there, Ryan, and hope to God that you're fucking doing it correctly. Another nightmare. I've got to be concerned. I'm going to run through the fucking bricket. Since I'm over here, I'm going to pick up this thing. And now I'm going to interact with the god statue thing. It's starting to look like a person. It's starting to look like a human silhouette. And now hope to god doesn't fucking teleport me to the, ne uh, to the night when I approach the statue over here. It's my hope. It's my dream. Father is running across the town again. Yeah. Please just hope for me so it doesn't teleport me to the next night. Fuck no! <laughs> I need. I think I need to close the game and relaunch it. I think. I think. I think. It's still the answer. There is. That means I never actually have to go to the mailbox. I could just deliver everything to everyone. Uh, I think I just need to close the game. Like, just close it. Close it. Just fucking. Just fucking close it. Uh, I like the game a lot. I'm having difficulty getting this good aim. And the worst part is I could have gone on my first playthrough, but I wasn't aware of it at that point in time, of course, so. Okay, now relaunching it. It's gotta start off in full screen mode, so. Yeah, it didn't say it doesn't save resolutions. Hopefully because it doesn't save my resolution options, it also didn't save the fact that I was carrying items. This game contains disturbing and violent imagery. Yes. Now then, options. Turn the volume to the volume, I like it. Use the resolution, put that, that to high. Back. Now F11, and now it should be good. Now I'm gonna have to do an ultimate test. And I actually have a way to test this this time. If I talk to the dog, and the dog says, is this for you, boy? Then I know I've still got the items in my inventory. And if not, I've got a backup. I've, I've thought of this. On the options menu, there's a delete save file option. So maybe if I delete my save file, all will be good with the world. But it's only if I trigger the dog ending again. Or the dog path, I guess you could say. Rolling on through. Oh, wow. What a crazy night. Better get up. That's a note. Um. 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 One second. It did. It, 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 it glitched for some reason. I couldn't move. I haven't even encountered that one before. I actually like the game, but I'm like, oh boy, the game is good ending. I've got three out of four inches. To, I haven't got what is quote unquote. The, I mean. Usually the good ending is the true ending, so I haven't gotten the true ending. I've, I've literally got I've got the secret endings. Oh hey, think of delete my save file because now it's gone from the menu. Hi twelve back. Okay, I'm gonna hope, hope. Again, you broke it again. Hey, I'm not. I'm literally not trying. Just running through the forest one day, trying not to break the game. Trying really hard not to. The game's actually not that buggy except for the stuff which apparently... Like, okay, going through the game itself is not buggy. Apparently some of the triggers if you replay through the game are buggy. I should report that to the developer. I feel like I know what's going on with that, but I don't actually fully know, so... There's no thing it was the first time I encountered this, though. Maybe because I was trying to go too fast. Don't know. And I might have to restart one more time in case the dog's still there, but maybe I'm fine. Gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait, wait, 
wait. Snippity snappity snip. The level design and some of the layer parts I find pretty interesting, though. Given that I've got some issues with it, the, uh, the, it, I find that the areas I've got the most issue with are the ghost areas. Partially because they're just the most, like, maze-like, but also because they also have this thing going on where you can't really tell where the ghosts are fully because their audio doesn't work all 100% of the time, so... That makes it fun. Okay, get started with my journey. George, hey there, lad. I'm in charge of the post office. Just check the deposit box for any packages and deliver them to the respective addresses. Yay, get this. There you go. It smells like wild berries. It's addressed to Rachel. Well, guess what, Rachel? I'm going to get to you in a moment, but first I'm going to get these two sigils and talk to the doggy. One of the sigils is by the doggy, so it's pretty simple there. I feel like what I'm thinking of will work. I feel like... Because maybe when here's my guess of what's been going on. I feel like it's right into a file, and the data doesn't get overwritten. I've picked up certain things uh, when I went back to the main menu. Hopefully, restarting the game refreshed the cache, quote unquote. But I'll have to find out. Almost go away. They they'll find me. They'll take me and my dog. And oh God, help us! All right, so click that. Now I need to talk to the dog. Make sure. What what do I say when I talk to the dog? I don't speak. Okay. I, yes, closing the game fixed it. I didn't give the dog the fucking bone I wasn't supposed to have this time. That means we're good. That means this might be the run. I'm actually getting excited now that I, I confirmed that with myself. I was not supposed to be going this way. Okay. So yes, close the game before you do a replay of this game. That's because you want to use elite speedrunning techniques, I guess. Oh my, thank you. These herbs are perfect for the special tea I'm making. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to his lay. I don't know if it's important, but I'm gonna do it. He looks creepy from the side. I'm not saying that not all these town peoples don't look creepy, because they all do look pretty creepy, but in that particular scene, look creepier than usual. Now go inside here. Talk to the spring statue. Is this thing my imagination? Is this monument whispering? Alrighty, then go up here. Collect that. There we go. Get the fuck out of here. At this rate, I could become a fucking speedrunner of this game, but yeah, 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 yeah. No, we need to be the goodest boy. We already got the goodest boy ending. <laughs> We're not gonna be a dog this time. We already got the dog ending. The dog's barks are super powered, apparently. Yeah, yeah, run over this way. Open this. These letters seem to be packed with pin shaped objects. We're going to fucking voodoo artists do their voodoo work. Let's put this there. Ah, they've arrived around time. Thanks, lad. Now I'm gonna do the long way around these parts. This one's heavy and compact. Books maybe it's addressed to the pasture. Alright, pasture, I'm gonna give it to ya. Gonna give it, give it, give it, give it, give it to ya. I'm gonna give it, give it, give it, give it, give it to ya. My thanks, he's fond of came valuable knowledge. I don't know if I need to talk to the statue. Like, I know it's not back here right now, but I meant the statue over here. I don't know if I need to talk to the statue, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna fucking try to make sure I don't fucking miss anything. That pile of rocks is pretty odd. Yes, it is. Now it should be enough to get my job done. So I can go and get retired after a single stay of work. Alright, run through here. Hey, deposit. Well, that was the last package for the day. Now it's time to go the fuck to sleep. Let's just go the fuck to sleep. Light sleeper. Oh boy, oh boy. Gonna go wait for our lives to be over. Just letting it happen. Gonna let it do its own thing. As he stands up. Okay. I'm up. Why is my door open? It's a mystery. Maybe because we're having a nightmare. Though I don't actually, me, myself, and I don't actually believe it's a nightmare. I think it's just... We think it's a nightmare. But really it is something else. Look at that flame particle. Look at the light. Hello, blanket person. Bye, blanket person. Let's go this way. 
So I gotta see, this is all ruined. What a mess, what could have happened in this room? It's a mystery. Now head out this way, see the shadow run by. Hello! And then it disappears, like the wind, we just follow it, of course. And we see the man kneeling down, praising Jesus! And now we'll get him to do his thing. Now we become a backwards marathon runner, and there you go. Back to the next day, and now we can hopefully talk to the statue without making things go badly for us. We know the good ending runs. Right now. Or any percent runs. <laughs> I mean, that's GDQ. Fun, fun. Game's done quick. Another nightmare. I've got to get a hold of myself. Now, I could pick up my packages, and I, that might be the best thing for time, but... I'm going to do my rounds right now just to affirm something. Pick that up. Talk to the statue again. It's starting to look like a human silhouette. Running through the forest, don't mind me. Got places and things to see. Should be right there. Let's hope now. Here's the test of true. Will it teleport me when I approach? It doesn't, thank God. You think I've lost my marbles, but I swear it moved since yesterday. Okay, I know where that is to pick up as well. We've done it. The circle statue, it's the arm. The Twin Peaks reference, I got it. And it and I sound like this. <laughs> Weird sounds in the arm there. <laughs> if you haven't seen Twin Peaks Season 3, you're probably really confused, but that's okay. I recommend it. I love Twin Peaks, my favorite TV show. Anyways, running on back. I forget where the last Thaney is. Yeah, it's like over here, I remember now. It was where the dog place previously was. I don't think I need to pick up all these signs. I think I'm fixed whatever issue I was having, but still want to be on the safe side. You know what's actually really annoying about the bug, though? It can save the fact that I haven't talked to the statue three times, but it can't, like, it can't save like everything but that. So I'm like, oh boy, oh boy. Let's do this. Soggy, it's addressed to Laura. Alrighty, deliver the packages. Now I think I've done everything I need to do for the good ending fun. Hey, Laura. Then there it is. Nicely. Not creepy face at all. Hey, Doggo. Now Doggo will follow us for a while. It's in full piece of paper. It's addressed to Violet. Alright, Violet's over this way, actually. Come on, doggy. Ran too far away, he ran away. Well, I was it's about time. Ryan, what's up? Doggoo. Let's get this. I like second season of the name. Fun fun. It's okay if you don't like third season ending there. It's certainly subjective. Alright, now I've got the statue, which means I know what to do. I'm also going to check the well in the house, just in case if I need to. There's something about the dingy old shack spam, but it still feels like there's something inside watching. Alrighty, let's do what we need to do. I think I went too far. Or maybe not far enough. There's the entrance. Now teleport me. Now I'm ready to be teleported. Now I wake up at night. Let's see if I can do this without dying. That's going to be the real challenge, really. Honestly, truly. Can I do this without dying? I don't know if not dying is a requirement. But if I do die and end up in the zone, the death zone area, then I'm going to be like, oh. How did I end up here? You think I can do this all without a flashlight? I mean, I probably could, but I'm not going to try. 
I'm gonna trigger the one thing that was chasing me before. Probably unintentionally, only because I'm running a lot, which means they kind of. I noticed these things are kind of set on a path, now I've done this a few times, I've realized that, so. Probably gonna trigger this guy, I'm gonna just come over here now. I hope I don't trigger him as I get this. It's honestly going a lot better than it should be. The one saw me, but that's okay. All these people see me, that's okay too. Now I'll get out of here. Now I am going to pick up. I'm going to ignore all the people doing their. Jesus worshiping. There are people chanting in there. Everybody watching me. So I'm gonna try and get the things. There's the first talisman I almost missed. I was like, wait a second, there was a talisman sound over there. I think I remember where all three are, but yeah, yeah. And of course, the hotel's on fire. I think this is the run to get the good ending, though. Yeah, good feeling about the good ending. Now, is the statue around at this part? You know, I, just so I don't fuck this up. Is the statue around this part, actually? I don't know. They're all watching from over there. Pro yeah, it's probably not, though. The part is, this part's very linear because you can't go off to the sides. Something's up with this town. Late realization. Fun, fun. Just ignore everyone. Are they trying to leave too? Part of the reason why you might not understand is because I'm literally rushing through right now. I'm trying to get the good end. We've already gotten three endings so far, so I'm like, just ignoring everybody. Alright, so I don't see a statue on the man in this part. I think this is good. Now lightning! I get knocked out. The aftermath. And now let's see if the fucking well will open. So yeah, yeah, I know. <sighs> well, the well opens and we get the fourth and final ending. My head hurts, what's going on? I'm text overlay because I tried interacting with something too quickly. Please tell me to jump. Yes! Okay. Jump in the well. Okay. Lord Almighty. <laughs> Having fun with the religious things going on there. Interact with the statue, and then I'm just gonna rush for what we need to rush for. Save me, tall giant. Now let's see if we can not get caught by Lilith. I probably will get caught by Lilith with my fucking luck though. Right side, I think we're okay at this point. Fuck Lilith. Don't bother me Lilith. Go into the well, I'm descending! Now, we're in new stuff. Yep, this is a new area. Looks like a mansion. So there's a castle beneath the town. Oh, I guess I shot out from that. Oh! I just got scared by a fucking candle. Let me explain why. I looked up here. I saw the well I popped from. I looked this way, but when you look at the candle, there are 2D image, so it looked like something that was moving towards me because I was also holding forward. So I perceived that movement as something movingly moving towards me, and the candle just terrified me right then. Okay. Oh, it's one of those things. It's the, like the hook people. So there's hook things in here. Cause that's the sound of one of those hook things moving around. That door 
is open, but not going in yet. What's up here with Flesh Jesus? It's just a flesh person that walks around. Oh, oh this passage over here, I didn't even see it. Hello, flesh person. Alrighty. Good old fireplace. Hmm. Is there anything on the table besides plates? Looks like a nice area to sit down in. There's multiple rooms that intrigue me here. It's a little meat factory. We see that. Mmm. Religious text. Dismembered people. Don't mind them. Is that skull important? Or is that supposed to be like a face? The thing's supposed to be a face that somebody tore off. Well, you know, just gotta appreciate your meat chambers. Oh, pull. I'm sure I opened up some secret passage, but you know, I couldn't even remotely tell you where it is. Here? I mean, that looks like... Well, I guess this was supposed to be like a window boarded up. <gasps> Fuck, that just scared me. What even was that? Anyways, it's locked. Okay, well that area is locked. Okay, for a second I thought the door disappeared, but no, I'm just crazy. Let's walk out of there, and I'm gonna check this side. Cobwebs. Nope, it's just a dead end. It's supposed to look like the right way, but it's not. I'm gonna open that door and get someplace else. Okay, see what sort of maze this is. Though. All right, time to get caught and killed by this thing, probably. Oh, this way would lead into there, but I guess it doesn't lead there so immediately. Hello, gramophone. I'm just glancing around like a madman. Ooh, a greenhouse. I'll get to that. Right now, apparently. I kind of like indoor greenhouses and castle type sayings, I guess. With skeletons. <laughs> They're the best touches to a nice greenhouse. Chair, which I could sit down in, but no. Hello, skeleton. Hmm. Not much more for me to say about this area. I mean, there's nothing else to pull. It wasn't quite the way I expected to enter inside this area, though, so I guess that's nifty enough. Frankly. Oh, hey. It's the other side of this area. Can I unlock this? It's locked. So that's how I enter inside the maze. Give me a moment before I do that. Okay. See, I could jump down there, but that looks like because it is a dead end. So before I recklessly do that, I'm going to enter inside the maze. I'm going to watch this guy's pathway for a little bit, actually. Okay, so he pops up there. I've got a pretty good view of the whole entire maze right now. I could go right now when it's back is turned, but I feel like that's a bad idea. It's the only one thing in the maze I see, though. Was there another entrance right there all along? Fuck my life. I don't really know what's inside the maze that I need, but... here for a little bit. I could have gone deeper in, but I didn't. We can say night there. Oh, it's behind me! Now I'm dead. That's why I go up the stairs too. Well, 
I didn't spot anything specifically important in the maze. Okay, well maybe I don't even need to go inside the maze. Like, I didn't even see a pleasant tree exit. And now I actually know another way to get inside the maze. So now, you know what? I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm gonna pull on this hook. I don't know what that does, but it did something. At least I assume it did. Now I'm gonna see what fucking ran out last time. I still can't tell what fucking ran out. Door is locked. I know a second way into the maze, which I think was the way they intended me to enter. Which is through here. I'm probably gonna get killed by this thing again, to be fair. I guess I'm supposed to go to the front entrance. Okay, I see it right now, so that's advantageous. Until it sees me. <laughs> I'm gonna go up. I've got another theory about maybe what I'm supposed to be doing with this bit here, so... I confirm there's nothing back there at the very least, which is what I was trying to do mainly with that run. Confirm that there's nothing in the backside. Probably it's just what... it's probably just a double way to end up here, but I want to see if there's anything over there at the moment. You know what? I'm just gonna drop down here and see what happens. I feel like I don't need anything from that. Probably just wasting my time with that, honestly. Well, let's continue. You have strayed far from home, my child. Interesting place. I see the way to go down there, but I'm just gonna see if there's anything over here first. So that is a negatory. So I don't have a flashlight or lantern or anything. Keep playing with all American Mickey's Alice games in there. There's the next way down. Anything over here first, though? I'm pretty sure the answer is no, but you know, you don't know until you check, so. Can't jump to see what's in there, so. You know, we're a little lost and sacred. You must be so tired. Red carpet down there. Well, that's where I went up. Well, that also leads up. Okay, this is where I'm going at the moment. Why fight when there's no more battle to be won? There's still reasons to fight, I would say. Maybe that's just my weird opinion. But we're going higher, not lower. And there were floors above me too, weren't there? Come to me. I can make your sorrows go away. Yeah, you know, but people need sorrows in their life. Can I drop off there? What if I did? No, well, I'm not gonna try. I could drop off here, but I'm not going to. So I'm not gonna try to. Nice place, though. The light goes this way. Uh, we're approaching something. It will all be better soon. Come. Well, that's not quite the sight I was expecting to see. I'm sure if I walk over all these dead people forming a bridge, I'll be fine. I'm sure it'll make all my sorrows go away. I wonder how. It's such a mystery, really. A 
all the people of the villains. Both is up there. Religious symbols. Can't go on the other side of the pathway. What is it, Loth? Oh. I can see what I look like. I look like a mailman, who would have guessed? The, uh, there you go, good name. They will all see. It will set the world on fire. And it says all the same stuff we read in the other areas. Ryan Lilith saying a tree, oh my. Lilith, maybe. Oh, yeah, but the final boss is Lilith. I don't know what we're talking about, but some other game. And finally, realize. Mailman looks like a mailman, of course. This is the good ending. Well, we got all the endings, so that's fun. Ah, which means Helltown completed. I still liked it, though. Actually, if I think about it, I honestly think that the good ending was my least favorite ending. But even though it was my least favorite, I didn't dislike it. It was an okay ending. Um, favorite ending of the bunch? I guess I would pick... Thinking about it, I'm really thinking about it for a second. I guess actually just the bad ending is the best ending, in my opinion. Still, though, this was Helltown. Hope you guys enjoy it. Until next time, do to all of you. Eh.